Hey there ladies and gents, rdub 3 here with another video for the channel relating to the Dallas Cowboys and what position groups I think they can still improve upon even after the first wave of free agency and the NFL draft have concluded. If you like what I've been doing on the channel lately, I would really appreciate you hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button down there at the bottom and sharing it with your friends if you're into what we're doing here. I would like to discuss in this video the positions that I think the Cowboys can still improve on. Now, a lot of people might say right off the top, let's look at the safety position, R-Dub 3. And while I could agree that at some point this offseason they might have address that position. I don't think it's a high priority for them at this point. They brought in Ha Ha Clinton Dix to compete for the starting role. You think at this point in time, he likely is the starter at that position alongside Xavier Woods. Now they lost Jeff Heath this offseason. That's true, but they'll also try to transition the likes of Cheetah Bay Awuzie to potentially fill in at that safety spot as well. They signed Daryl Worley earlier this week, who has taken some snaps at safety as well. And of course, they still have Darian Tompkins, uh, Thompson rather, from a season ago, who played well in the preseason, didn't get a ton of snaps last season, but still a guy that they can rely on for some depth. So I don't think safety is actually the position they should be looking for. It's certainly not now with what's available out there. The two positions I'm thinking about, we'll do this one first, the punter position. Okay, no one wants to talk about it. No one likes to think about it. And I would agree with you. It should be an afterthought, except for when it's as bad as it was in 2019. Chris Jones, amongst 36 qualified punters, ranked 34th in terms of net yards per punt. A paltry 37.7 net yards per punt was too short of the league low. That is two places short of the league low, which was right around 37 and a half yards per punt. Uh, now, if you like to look at the free agency pool, punters aren't going to be the types of names out there that fans will get excited about, but veteran punters like Brandon Colquitt, who was just released from the Kansas City Chiefs, could come here and immediately improve this situation. Another one by the name of Lack Edwards, who kicked last season or the last two seasons for the New York Jets, ranked 12th and 13th respectively in the entire league in net yards per punt. And oh, by the way, yeah, he punts at about 46 yards per punt on average. Last season, Chris Jones... 41.6. So you get about five more yards per. Doesn't sound like a lot, but we know how important it is when it comes to the Cowboys starting field position. And we know if you watch them in 2019, how much that hurt them a year ago. The other position I think the Cowboys can improve upon, at least from a depth perspective, is the end position. But you know which end I'm talking about. No, I'm not talking about defensive end, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about the tight end. Okay? Comedy, it's fluid. We're working on it. We'll get through it together. I promise you it's going to be okay. Uh, yes, the tight end position for the Dallas Cowboys. Blake Jarwin, everybody's ready to see what he can do now that he has the opportunity to spread his wings and fly outside of the shadow of Jason Witten. But does that mean he's really ready for the role? We're talking about a player in the past two seasons who played 39 and 36 percent of the offensive snaps respectively in 2019 and in 2018. That's a guy who's now going to be expected to play in 80 to 90 percent of the snaps that the Dallas Cowboys take in the 2020 season. Yes, they signed Blake Bell in the offseason. They got him over from the Kansas City Chiefs. He just won a Super Bowl. But he was backing up Travis Kelsey and not really relied upon to be a, a significant threat in that offense in any way. In fact, he only played in about 35% of the snaps for the Kansas City Chiefs last season on offense. You also have Dalton Schultz in the tight end room. I understand the fourth round pick from two seasons ago, but... In two years, the guy has just 13 catches. Now, I understand he was drafted to be a, a run blocker, and he was serviceable in college on that front, but he hasn't beefed up and added the type of size that he needs at this level to excel. And quite frankly, I don't think we've seen enough from him to even guarantee him a spot on the 2020 roster. Now, if you want to talk about guys you could potentially bring in and add to improve upon this room, a veteran like Delaney Walker. 
immediately comes to mind as a player that you could bring in here and at least have some depth in the event that Blake Jarwin doesn't prove to be the type of tight end that you hope him to be. Again, that's just one option. I'd love to hear from you guys what other positions you think the Cowboys could and should improve upon here in the second wave of free agency. Hit me up on Twitter at rdub3. Go ahead and drop a comment below and please subscribe and like the video. We'd love to put more stuff out like this for you. Thanks for checking out the channel. We'll see you next time.